So the first time we went down to the Dominican Republic was because a friend had gone down in the past and asked us to go with her. And I've always wanted to go on a missions trip. I've heard great things about people coming back and having life-changing experiences and having different perspectives on their spiritual life and their relationship with God. So if you think of everything you do in a day, from the moment you wake up in the morning to the moment you go to bed, those are the things that are meaningful for you and that you enjoy engaging in. Those are called your occupations or the things that occupy your time. When we went to the Dominican Republic, we had limited time and limited resources down there. So we wanted to make sure that we prioritize our clients' wants and needs while we were down there. So we went down with kind of a plan because we had to plan for it for our community practice class. So we came down thinking we would go to a school and go to a nursing home and some of the villages. But when we got down there, we were talking with one of the people that works for the organization and she set us up to go to a rehab center. We went to a hospital, we went to a nursing home, we went to a school. So there were a lot of opportunities that came up that we weren't expecting. So we had to be very flexible. So we had the opportunity to go to an elementary school where we met a little girl who had cerebral palsy, so she had a hard time controlling her movements. We took her out of her wheelchair and got her on the floor, got her moving around and worked on picking up and releasing objects. And she told us that her teacher and classmates would help her write her name. And all we did was take a piece of foam and put it on a pencil and help her hold it and have her take her time and she was able to slowly write her name for the first time. Simple fix, but an awesome one. So one thing that I realized was that they view disability and developmental disabilities in a different way than we do in the U.S. In the U.S. we see people that have developmental disabilities as having so much potential to be independent in their activities of daily living and their occupations, whereas people there often see if they're just surviving and living that that's good enough and that they don't have potential to be independent. So that was one thing that I took away that I definitely want to implement next time we go down there is to just educate and make people aware of the impact that occupational therapy has on people with developmental disabilities and just improving their ability to engage in occupations independently and increase their quality of life. On a professional level, I took away from this trip that I want to be a flexible and intentional therapist. Intentional with my clients making sure that I'm prioritizing their wants and needs. We had to be flexible with limited resources and limited time. We had to think on our feet and use what we had and intentional. We had to prioritize our clients' wants and needs to make sure that they had success. 